I have created this intro video in the Wondershare Filmora 13, taking the help of the new guidelines and ruler. It can help you perfectly align things on the video, making it easy to do professional works for your own projects and your clients' works. Welcome to Tube Media Tutorials. Today we will explore the guidelines and their uses. First, add a quick text or a quick 3D text. Set the position in the timeline. Change the text to your own. Let's set the size to 66 for now. Right-click on the video preview window, enable ruler. A ruler appears both vertically and horizontally. The number of pixels is also denoted in both. Now, if you click and drag the ruler into the video, you can create reference lines or guidelines. These lines can be moved over the video as needed. The pixel value is also denoted in a pop-up. Similarly, guidelines can be created by clicking and dragging from the horizontal ruler at the top. It might be a little hard to perfectly place the reference lines at the desired places, so another way is to right-click on the ruler and click Add Guide. Alternatively, you can right-click the player, go to Guide, click Add Guide. In this new window, select the guideline color, preferably a color contrasting the video. A color picker is also available for you. Let's set it to yellow for best visibility. The guidelines can be added in horizontal and vertical directions. Here you can precisely set the pixel location where you want the guidelines to be. To delete the previous line, right-click and delete. Let me replace the horizontal line as well, at 200 pixels from the top. Now move the text to fit the guidelines. It has magnetic properties, so it's easy. You can resize the text as needed keeping the guideline as reference. Once you play the video, the guidelines hide automatically. You can manually hide the lines as well, when not needed. The lines can be locked to their position. It's crucial for later uses of the reference lines. If you want to add more text, pictures or objects later, these guidelines can be used as reference. For example, I want to add the word tutorials below my channel name. So, after adding the text, it can be aligned perfectly below the upper text using the guidelines. To complete the intro title animation, I will add a transition and find a suitable music from the audio library in the Filmora video editor. So, this is how it looks. Just to let you know, you can add multiple guidelines as required. Let me now show you another use case of guidelines. In this video, we want to show another video in PIP. So, we will set the reference lines first. Then place the overlay video on the timeline. Resize it to the frame created using the guidelines. Now lock the lines. Next time we want to add another overlay video, we will use the same guidelines for uniformity. So. This is how the new guidelines in the Wondershare Filmora 13 can help you do professional works seamlessly. Thanks for watching another Tube Media tutorial. To download Filmora 13, find the link in the video description. By Filmora Creators. Happy creating!